wanted to talk to you a little bit about the carbon drift boards. Um, they were the first product that we made. They are currently the widest and lightest product in the lineup between the carbon and oxygen. The carbon drift boards are our stiffest product. They keep your weight evenly distributed across the snow. Um, they use the same pivoting binding that all of our product uses and it also has a soft polyurethane hill piece for those of you that may be using softer boots for the pow surfing scene. I um, wanted to bring to attention one item that we always are getting questions on and tell everyone here a little bit about our philosophy. Here you may see our drift board and what we try and do, we currently do not offer any metal edges on the drift boards. And the reason for that is we want to bring this touring skin out as far and as close to that edge as possible. And what ends up happening, and there's a couple different theories and thoughts on this. One is that you need to keep that touring skin away from the edge so that the metal edge could actually be there and bite into the snow. But the problem that I found with that is when you bring the touring skin away from the edge, if you're going up any sort of incline, you lose the ability to get grip in the snow because you're on edge and there's no touring skin to provide the traction and so you end up sliding backwards. Um, and so it's our philosophy here at Drift to get the touring skin out to the edge and, and get the grip from the touring skin, not from the metal edge. Um, now there's a couple things that uh, make that possible. One is we don't have to put on and take off our skins all the time. If you're doing that every day, it becomes tedious to line them up. Um, but where our skins are semi-permanent, it allows that skin to reach the edge and give you the grip that you need. Um, we have found that not from not having a metal edge, but because of the width, you do lose on the original uh, carbon drift boards you lose some of the ability to edge due to the lack of leverage that you have because they're so wide. Now, it's at a compromise. You know, where do you want that? Do you want that extra width for floating in powder or do you want it um, for edging in hard pack snow? Which is why we released the Cascade and we'll talk a little bit about that in a, in a subsequent video or later on in this video. But we wanted to let you know why we have purposefully not put metal edges in and that is because we want the touring skin out to the edge and in the meantime we can save the weight of not having those those that metal in the product anyways um next product will be the oxygen board so we'll, we'll do that next